No deal, man, Freddy. Now let the hostages go, or we will open fire. What happened? Ah! Oh, no! It's Brain! He's been hit! How bad is it? Oh, he's just got a gaping hole in him and there's blood everywhere. He's all peaches and cream. So much for being a hostage negotiator. And on the first day of the job, too. What the heck? Where am I? The last thing I remember is... Huh. I don't recall. This is all very weird. Why does everything seem so familiar? Somebody call an ambulance. Doctor! Brain's been hit! We're dead! We're all dead! Uh, you're not quite dead yet, Hart. You're still beating, right? Oh, uh, yeah, right. And the lungs are still breathing. Pretty much. Uh-huh. Anyways, we need to get your human to the hospital ASAP, or Brain's not going to make it. So what do we do? After checking your pulse and breathing to confirm that you're still alive, the paramedics will patch up the human's head with sterile dressing. That's to stop the bleeding, right? Yup, and to make sure that your human's head is stable while being transported to the hospital, they're going to apply a neck brace. Ooh, that's a good idea! Hey, why does it feel much easier to breathe now? The paramedics have just attached an oxygen mask to help you breathe better. Oh, much appreciated. He's still not gonna make it, is he? Aw, our first Hawaiian vacation. Aw, that was a really fun time. Wait. Was. This already happened, so why am I seeing this now? Fun, except for the volcano part, am I right? Who's the- oh! How- how is this possible? Why am I looking at my own human? This is a trick, right? Like- like the House of Mirrors! No trick, Brain. I'm actually here. But why? Because this may be the last chance we get to talk. The emergency department staff will now administer a CT scan to figure out the extent of Brain's injury. CT? What kind of brew is that? No, oh, CT, as in computerized tomography scan. That's a lot of big words. It's a type of imaging that uses X-ray techniques to create detailed images of the body. How's that different from a normal X-ray scan? CT scans reveal a lot more detail and create computerized 360-degree views of the body's structures. What's with the rad new hairstyle? Immediate brain surgery needs to be performed. One of the first steps is to shave the patient's head. I could get used to our human being bald. The surgery's gonna go completely without a hitch, right? I'll be honest, complications can arise during the procedure, such as bleeding or infection. That sounds rough, but chances of survival are still high, right? The survival rate for traumatic brain injury surgery is about 88%. See, I called it. Still close to 100%. <laughs> so that's what happened. I remember now. Whoa, what was that? An earthquake? They're trying to save us, Brain. Are we going to make it? I don't know. This is the first time this has happened to us. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, nothing. It's just that after all the weird and crazy stuff we've gone through, it's a wonder this didn't happen sooner. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun life, wasn't it? Wow, that looks straight out of a horror movie! What are they doing, Doc? Brain has swelled a ton since the incident, so the first step is to cut out a large part of the human skull to relieve the pressure. This procedure is called craniotomy. So that's what it was. I thought Brain was just working out too much. C cut out our skull? We'll piece it back together, right? Uh, no. Metal plates are a thing, Hart. Right. At the end of the surgery, they'll perform cranioplasty, which is when parts of the skull that were removed are replaced. I guess scratching our head is going to be a whole new experience from now on. Also wigs. Wigs are now a thing for us. Now the surgeons are removing fragments of the skull that were lodged in the brain. And they'll remove the bullet as well, right? No, that's the interesting part. The CT scan revealed that the bullet went straight through your human's head, just above his left eye. So the bullet's not stuck inside brain? 
That's probably one reason why he's still alive, right? You got it. Another reason is that the bullet completely missed any of Brain's vital parts. It's a miracle. A veritable miracle. Hold your horses, Heart. The surgery still has a long way to go. Uh-huh. Brain surgery can last up to seven hours, depending on the complexity of the procedure. We'll have to wait and see if we're still alive then. It's been quiet for a while. Yeah, too quiet. Congratulations, organs! Brain survived the surgery! Hooray! That's amazing, Brain! Brain? Sorry to tell you, Heart, but Brain's in a coma right now. Huh? Now, oh, for crying out loud, this isn't calligraphy. It means he's not waking up anytime soon. But I thought he made it. Brain's coma is medically induced which means that it was on purpose as part of the procedure. So that's why we feel a little woozy right now. Yes, the doctors used a controlled dose of an anesthetic drug to accomplish this. But why are they trying to silence Brain? Uh, does he know something he shouldn't? No contraire. It was done to actually protect Brain. I'm confused. Brain's injury was incredibly severe. You can say that again. He had a literal hole in him. <clears throat> yes, uh, Brain will need a very long time to recover from this. So the coma was done to help speed up his healing. Oh, kind of like how bears hibernate during winter. Uh, something like that. Great, so when's he going to wake up? At the moment, we're not entirely sure. But he is going to. Right, Doc? No, oh, Liver, what are you talking about? Of course he is. So have a good rest, Brain. We'll see you soon. And then Liver told Kidneys, Get out of here with that mumbo jumbo. <laughs> it was so funny. Anything? He's still sleeping soundly. Oh, heart. It's fine, it's fine. I'm not going to stop. Brain's one of us. He'll want to be all caught up for when he wakes up. And I hope it's soon. This total parental nutrition being pumped into us isn't very yummy. It's necessary because we can't exactly chew right now. I know, I know. But it's just this icky formula. It's been three whole months of just this. And I want some real food! But it has everything the body needs. Except taste. The doctors are back doing coma stimulation to see if any of Brain's senses respond. What's first on the docket? Hearing. They're playing the human's favorite song again. Oh god, if I have to hear sailing one more time. What? I love sailing! Don't you dare! Sail! Okay, stop, stop, for the thousandth time, we get it. The doctors have brought out the human's perfume to stimulate Brain's sense of smell. Mmm, passion of the timber. I never did get the appeal of that scent. Yeah, it smells like dog pee on a tree! <laughs> I don't know, it almost worked on Olivia once. She's the one that threw popcorn in our face, right? Yeah, that was the closest we got. Huh. They've brought out the big guns for touch. It's Pooky! I love that bear! Yeah, oh, remember when we took him outside to play one time? And we got him all muddy? Mom got so mad at us when we got back inside. <laughs> then she took him away and we cried for hours and hours. <laughs> we thought we would never see him again. Mom was actually just washing him up for us. And he was just like new when we got him back. So, why don't you want to wake up? What do you mean? I mean, you can clearly sense all the stimuli they're throwing at you. You can feel Pookie, smell the timber, hear the song. Sailing! So, why aren't you waking up? I'm not sure I even want to anymore. It's so easy here, so comfortable. I don't have to worry about all the real life stuff. I can just remember the good times and relax. This isn't real, Brain. Real life's out there to be experienced. Memories have to be lived in order to be remembered. And you still have the chance to make some new ones. It's up to you. Did you catch what they were saying? Let's see. Unresponsive. Chances of waking slim. Pull the plug. Pull the plug? Now wait just a golden minute here. They're gonna pull our life support? I mean, it has been three months. Brain's gonna wake up. I know he will. You did your best, little buddy. 
You've been talking the brain every day since we arrived at this friggin' hospital. But maybe the doctors are right. Maybe it's time to let go. We sure had a fun time, didn't we, Brain? We went to a lot of exotic places. And ate a lot of yummy food! But you were kind of a jerk at times. Yeah, like that time you forced us to climb Mount Everest just for some internet cred! Or all the times we joined those unnecessarily dangerous Mr. Beast challenges? But still, there were more good times than there were bad. I want to experience them again, too. What? what? Train, you woke up! We have so much left to do, buddies. And I want to experience them all with you. I don't know how to tell you this, organs, but it's time! Doctor, doctor! Brain just woke up! Huh? You're kidding! Hey, Doc. Oh, darn. And I brought out my good scissors, too. And what exactly were you going to do with those? Oh, I... nothing, nothing. Just maybe some gardening? It's been looking a bit bland and, uh, lifeless in here, you know? Terrible choice of words. Now I won't need one of my other spare human bodies. Oh well, maybe next time. What?